Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, uh, the 4th of February. It is 9.15. It's my late night at work. I've got crazy hair today. So I have to be there at 10.30. I work till 7. So I have some errands to run this morning, and I thought I would start vlogging. It seemed to work last week. I have my coffee. I love this cup. These metal cups from Starbucks are expensive, no lie, but they keep my coffee hot, and that's important to me. But I don't buy them very often. I usually maybe one a year, and then I will get rid of one um, toothpaste. I'll get rid of one that I don't need. I'm tired today, guys. Excuse me. Um... And I had to escape out through the garage. <laughs> For some reason, Wellington wanted out bad this morning. And normally, if I was up a little earlier and down here, I would let him out for a little bit. It's raining. He won't stay out long. Um, he likes to come out in the little front where I live. I have a little strip of grass, and he eats the grass and does his cat thing and then comes back in. But this morning, I was running late, and I couldn't let him. And the sad little boy was sitting at the door crying. He wanted out. I said no baby so I every morning he's so spoiled every morning when I leave the house I give him treats so he won't try to escape because he won't come back if he doesn't want to come back he does not listen very well most days he'll come but if he has a day that he does not want to come in he wants to be outside he um he won't come and I can't deal with that in the morning because I have to go to work so this is years in the making, guys. We, uh, <laughs> I give him treats every morning on my way out the door. He knows it. He expects it. And now if I come in the house, he gets treats. And mostly because he doesn't eat good. And I just want to make sure he's getting some food. And when Sarah comes, if you come to my house, you better be ready to open that treat jar. Because he just knows that if somebody's in the house and they're standing near that jar, he should be getting some treats. So, anyway, he wouldn't. He wouldn't eat his treats. He was at that front door. He was adamant. He was going out. So I had to go out the escape hatch through the garage. <laughs> oh my buddy, I am sorry. So Friday I'm off. And hopefully the weather's nice and he can go out for a little while. In the morning. So right now I am headed to the grocery. No. No. I'm headed to the post office. I have a letter that I got in the mail in my post office box. Whoever sent it, thank you, because I, I don't know. I Well, I could look at my email. I have this thing. I had no idea it was a thing until I heard it. I'm sorry, my eye. Until I heard another YouTuber talk about it. It's called Informed Delivery. You can sign up with the post office, and they will send you a picture of your mail. What? It's so cool. Um, I accidentally signed up for my home mail, which I don't need informed delivery, so I need to go and shut that down. But I was trying to sign up for my P.O. box because I don't always go check, and I want to make sure I don't miss something if I get a card or a letter or something. Um, I don't want it to sit there for a long time waiting and having somebody have sent me a card, and I didn't thank them because I didn't know it was there because I didn't go to the post office. So you sign up, you go online, you register, and every day in the morning I get a picture of my mail. So I have a card and I need to go pick it up. And then I don't know what we're doing. Thursday, um, I have to go to Lane Bryant's home office. I was asked as a wear tester to take part in a fashion show for their associates. It's their quarterly meeting. Um, they all get together and then we this time it'll be wear testers. I guess usually it's associates that get to wear the outfits and then they um, get to keep the outfit. So I got an email. I asked if I, they asked if I wanted to do it. I said, absolutely. That sounds like so much fun. So I'm going over on Thursday for a dress rehearsal and then Friday, it's just like for an hour. And then Friday we and I think we try our clothes on on Thursday. And then on Friday, we have the little fashion show. And then I keep whatever the outfit is. It's a, one of the new spring line. I have got an eyelash or something in my eye. Um, which is exciting. But then I got an email yesterday to confirm I was coming. Yes, I'm coming. But 
we were told we could come early and they're having a sample sale. I don't know what that is, but the comp parent company that owns Lay Bryant is a Senna. And they have Lane Bryant, Catherine's, Cacique, which is their underwear intimate line. They also own Loft and Taylor and Justice. I learned this. But the sample sale, it's $20 for a small bag or $40 for like a 13-gallon trash bag. And anything you can fit in it, you get to have for that $40. And the money goes to charity. So I'm going to bring money. You have to bring cash. And I don't know what. I wish I could bring you along, but I don't think I can. I don't know. I'll ask while I'm there. But I will definitely show you the clothes I get. If I get any. I don't know. I've never been to one of these before, so I have no idea what this is all about. But I will plan on going early so I can go to the, sale, the sample sale. And then I will do my practice walking down the runway. How exciting. All right, I gotta go to the posty and I will chat with you later. Bye. Morning, everybody. It's Tuesday. No, lies. It's Wednesday. I'm putting the finishing touches on my lunch. I'm getting ready to go to work. I'm gonna show you the best salad container ever. It's from Sistema. So it's pretty deep, but the best thing is this little top gadget. It holds my three ounces of steak my salad dressing, some nuts and blue cheese, and um, cucumber and radish. Sits on top and there's even a fork and a knife in here. And what I do is I just dump everything in and then it's big enough that I can shake my salad. So that's my lunch for today. I'm eating peanut butter. It's so good. And making coffee. My little hint to the world, these metal cups, I put hot water in it before I brew my coffee. So the cup stays hot and my coffee therefore stays hot. And I'm just putting some drops of sweet light, sweet drops, sweet leaf, sweet drops in the English toffee flavor. My little container doesn't fit under the Keurig, my travel cup, so I just pour it in. Um, and then I have to put some cream in it. I got an order in the mail yesterday from this company called iHerb. I-H-E-R-B. I, you know, there was a YouTuber that I watched that she orders from there all the time. But I had never really gone on and taken a look at it till the other day. And I was like, the prices are so reasonable and comparable. Um, if you remember when I went to Fresh Time last week, I purchased some Natural Calm. It's a magnesium drink, but it's also very clean. Oops. I'm packing up some tea for work because I'm out. Um, anyway, so I got a little variety pack, but I decided that I like it and it has a good clean sweetener in it for me. And so um, I wanted to order some, but I wanted to try the watermelon, and the only place I could find it was this iHerb. So I went on the website, and I'll show you here in a second. Shipping is $1. Now, it's not like overnight shipping, but it's $1 for shipping, no matter what you buy. So I was super excited about that. I found Sleepy Time Vanilla. What? I've never heard of this before. I'm not opening it yet because I have my my tension tamer to drink first. So I'll open this later. But it's Sleepy Time Vanilla. But I did buy Berry's Tea. And this is a product of Ireland. It's Irish breakfast tea. It is so good. I had some last night. That's what I'm packing up to take to work. Just a few bags. It's so good. These were $2.98. It's equivalent to the store. So I grabbed two of those and then I picked up the 14 ounce of this calm and the watermelon and it is sweetened with stevia so it's keto friendly I'm taking some to work it's literally in a cup a teaspoon of this so this is going to go a long way and it was $14 which again is equivalent um, and I kind of did the math 
and these crystal light Snapple thingies, you get six to eight of these, and they're less than uh, an ounce per pack. So dollar for dollar, it's almost the same price as getting these, but it's better for you. You only get one flavor and you have to buy it all at once. Now, of all the ones I've tried, including this watermelon, my favorite is the raspberry lemonade. The lemony ones seem to be a little better. Now, this is not gonna taste like Crystal Light. It's not over flavored. You just want the hint of watermelon and it's a little effervescence. But the reason I drink it also is it has magnesium in it, which helps with muscles. So I'm trying to see if this will be a good drink for me to, get, to have while I am bicycling this summer because that's coming up soon. So I'm just packing my lunch. Sadly, this bag does not, or this container does not fit in my cat bag, but that's okay. I have more than one lunch bag. So I have my lunch prepared. It is 7.04, I gotta roll. I guess I have to put my peanut butter away. Be careful with peanut butter if you're doing keto. Two tablespoons has six carbs. But that's my breakfast out the door this morning. A couple bites of peanut butter. Um, yeah, so I'm ready to go to work. Today after work, I have an eye doctor's appointment. Well, it's later, it's at like 6.50. And hopefully I'll pick out some new glasses. Although I love these frames, I'm hoping to find something that I love just as much. And then I'm taking, two years ago I bought sunglasses. And I loved the sunglass frames. They're aviators, so cool. However, I never was able to wear the glasses because there was something wrong with the prescription. And by my own fault, I never went back. I did go back once and had them try to adjust and it didn't work. So I'm gonna take those frames with me and have new lenses for sunglasses put in them and hope for the best. Because they were fairly expensive and I, will, I want to wear them, especially when I'm riding my bicycle because like a plastic like this, I'm constantly pushing them up. Even though these will go dark like a sunglass, the ones I bought for sunglass specifically are tighter and they don't slide because they're designed for that. All right, I gotta go to work. Oh my gosh, guys. Woo, it's cold. I just got out of my um, rehearsal for the fashion show tomorrow here at the Lane Bryant home office. I was trying on clothes, so my hair's a mess. We were invited to come and do the sample sale. Who knew? I'm going to have a video up. Don't you even worry. And go through all the things, most of the things. Maybe just the things that fit me. I don't know. I got a ton of stuff. So, I'm headed home. Uh, my outfit that I'm modeling tomorrow is from Catherine's. And it's a cute duster with a tank and some white denim. Oh, so cute. Um, I wish I could bring you along, but I can't because it's private stuff but when it goes on social media hopefully they'll tag us or I'll go tag myself and then at least if you're following me on Instagram you'll be able to see all right I gotta head home it's cold all right guys I'll see you later hey guys I just left Joanne fabric after doing my um modeling thing at Lane Bryant and oh my goodness I went to purchase a couple things they didn't have what I was looking for, but you know, I'm kind of obsessed. I got this cross stitch 50 page journal, but what I want to use it for is I'm going to put my initials or something on the front and then on the inside, I'm going to put my project. So probably on page two, we'll start my first cast on my first stitch, whatever you call it in knitting. It's a cast on. I don't know what it's called in cross stitch, but to keep track of all of my um, cross stitch projects, what floss I use, when I started, when I finished it, that kind of stuff. So I thought this was perfect and I had a 50% off coupon. And then I need to make a needle minder. So I was just looking around and uh, look what I found. Is this not appropriate in my life? Coffee and tea, there you go. So I spent like nine bucks or $6 something. Nine dollars, whatever. I got that. Well, then I was walking out the door, and there's a table up front, and on the table it says, "Take what you want." They were giving away all the Christmas stuff, so I grabbed this. It's just the word "snow." It's in styrofoam. I don't know. This could be winter too. It's foam word. 
paint it. Oh, you paint it. Okay, I can paint it. $24.99. Free. Okay, I'm on board with that. They had a bunch of stuff. I didn't buy bun take bunches of stuff, but I did get from my front door these bulbs from Sylvania. And there are they're indoor outdoor, nine feet. That's a lot. I'll double them up. That's what I typically do and put it over my front door. And I love the red and green in that they're these huge bulbs. And I will just hang them this winter or next Christmas over my front door. Because the ones I had for this year died. Perfect, right? And then they had a bunch of some of the leftover ribbon. I didn't need a lot of ribbon, but I grabbed the ones with the little bears on it. Because I love that. And then I grabbed with the moose. Because I love that. And then, guys, you're going to die. Free. Letter to Santa. It's metal. It's a functioning mailbox. I don't know if it's going to stay green. I have no idea. I have a whole year to decide. Because I'm kind of thinking for next Christmas, I'm going to go maybe a red and white theme. I don't know. But whatever. I have a mailbox for Santa. That was free. I'm having a little Diet Pepsi. My tummy's a little upset. I stopped at the Dollar Tree and kind of hit a little bit of a jackpot. Jackpot, if you will. Not really. But they had, um, they put a whole second section of the Crafter Square stuff. And I'll give you a little sneak peek. I have been on the hunt for these canvas in the 11 by 14 size. This is big. So I grabbed just two to make some paintings or signs or something. But this is the hard-backed canvas. And this is 11 by 14. And I have yet to see this size in my store. So I grabbed two of them. And I'll do a Dollar Tree haul. This, um, oh, another thing I found. Sneak peek time again. In the Crafter Square section, these little fussy scissors, which are adorable. They have a four-inch... Um, blade so for me I can use them for knitting in my knitting bag and when I travel on the airplane um, these are small enough to travel with and I needed a little pair for my knitting bag and so I grabbed two um, I'll put one I have a container uh, like a box up in my craft room that all it has in it are knitting notions. So stitch minders, scissors, although I lost my scissors, so I needed more. Um, tape measures, things like that. So when I start a project, I go in there, I get all the things I need, and then I start my project. All right, guys, I'm headed home. I had so much, so much fun today being a runway model. Do I have something on my teeth? Yes, I do. I wonder how long I've had lipstick on my teeth. Anyway, it's 4.30. I'm going to go home. I'm editing a video. You'll see it probably Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. I don't know. I'm thinking for now I'm going to drop my Dollar Tree hauls to once a week because there's not a lot of stuff right now. Spring, but come September... August, September, when Thanksgiving, Halloween, the fall, all that starts coming out, I'll go back up to twice a week. But it's like, I don't want to buy stuff just to buy stuff. So, we're going to go home, make a cup of coffee, work on my needlepoint, and then I'll show you my needlepoint when I get home. And then I'm going to put on my jammies. It's Friday. I'll see you in a little bit. Hi, guys. I'm back. Oh, crazy hair. It is Sunday night. I'm getting ready for the end of my evening, and I want to get this vlog out tomorrow. But I thought, oh, here's Alex. I thought I would show you some of my cross-stitch, since I seem to have gotten some feedback on that, that you guys cross-stitch too? Who knew? So here's the thing. I'm a knitter. I'm an avid knitter. Um, I really haven't shown too much on the channel, because I'm not sure that this channel is the place for that. So I'm kind of contemplating doing like a needly type channel of more artisan crafts like knitting, crochet, um, needlepoint, or what is this, counted cross stitch, stuff like that. I'm not sure. I'm contemplating. I just feel like this channel is all about 
DIYs and Dollar Tree, a little vlogging. Apparently, though, all kinds of stuff because I'm putting clothing hauls, but more hauling and things like that. Anyway, hauling, speaking of, I wanted to show you what I was doing and what I picked up. So what I'm, my first cross, my very first cross stitch. So like a normal person would pick up a little kit and start. Mm -mm. I picked up a six chart needle point. But please, can we talk about this? It's a black cat full of flowers. I hope I, didn't, I left it up there long enough. I got this on Etsy by um, X-S-T-I-T-C-H-A-N. Um, yeah, I bought it. There was two. I, I actually purchased both chart, both patterns. One is uh, the cat with the paw up and one is the cat sitting. We'll see if I ever get to the second one. I mean, I do have two black cats, but they're both black cats. Um, so I did that. Oh, and my cup, because in honor of, we're talking about cross stitch and knitting. It is, you can never have too much yarn. It's true. Mm. Now, this is, I'm, I didn't iron it. I'm a terrible floss tuber, apparently. I didn't iron it, but this is where I'm at with it. I've done his butt, except for one little color here, which I think I'm going to do in a second. And then the bottom, and I did some of the black, and then I, I went back in and filled in some of the color. That's the body. This The chart I'm working now is the biggest chart it's a full page so and that's the body of the cat so that's where I'm at apparently I'm supposed to, sh to iron this before I show you my mess but that's what I'm doing then I decided I'm using the wrong size needles well some of the needles are too big because they're leaving a big hole so I went to Joanne like you do and I grabbed I think these are the right size DMC size 26 so I grabbed a pack of four of the right size needles so I'm not ruining that and those are reasonably priced for 24 karat gold needles 22 karat gold excuse me these are fancy needles they're gold but more importantly they're the right size so I grabbed that and then I also picked up this, this is from DMC. It's a notebook. But listen, it's super hard. And you can cross-stitch something. Or you could just see me through it. You can cross-stitch something on the front. Um, which I will. But the reason I got it is I want to track my progress. So, I have zero progress. But this will be the page one. It'll be this. I started February 1st. This is the floss I'm using. This is where I got the pattern, that kind of information. Because, you know, when I first started knitting, I didn't do that. And I would love to have had that to look back on. And this was like $6 with a coupon. I think it was probably $10 maybe. Yeah. Well, it would have been 12 because I had a half off coupon. So I paid $6, which isn't bad. But there's plenty of pages to write things needle pointy things uh, yes i have a notebook problem i know um i picked up a hoop like you do i don't love this hoop so i ordered a susan bates one to try and i got one at hobby lobby which again i don't care for that but it might do better with a thinner fabric because this is a pretty thick ada that i'm using 14. that's where we're gonna stay i don't know what this one over one stuff i don't know what all that is yet so right then I apparently was bored last night at my part-time job because I might have ordered some patterns. But, to my defense, there really is none. But I wanted some small things. I wanted to make some like ornaments and little pillows to put out for the seasons. Not something giant, but something little. So these are just tiny little... Um, small Easter motifs. This is from a feathered stitch. Um, I'll show you the colors for that in a second. And then from Rocking Horse Cross Stitch, this is just a bunch of little Christmas ornamenty type, simple little, you know, little things. Then I picked up, hang on, for Halloween, some little houses. Again, these are just tiny. 
little, I think if I use a 14 Ada, it's like four inches by five inches. So these are pretty small little houses. And this is from Rocking Horse again. So these two sets were from Rocking Horse on Etsy. Then one of them sent me this like beginner cross stitching little booklet thing, which is nice. And it talks about um, coding, how to start, where the beginning, I mean, things, you know, that I probably should have known before I started, but you know, whatever, I'll read it. <laughs> and then for Christmas, I can't even take it. This is from XB, A X E B E. Please, please look at that cat with the Santa hat. He is adorable. And I'm probably going to put a bead or something on this one because, well, he's cute. And I might do one, do two, one all black for Alex, and then do a second one with a little white belly and little white paws and maybe. A little white on his chin and it'll make that dubby or wellington so i grabbed this one and the finish this is ada again um oh this is pretty big oh that's centimeters <laughs> i was like this is huge no it's five yeah it's decent size it's five inches by seven inches so it's a five by seven not too bad super cute so i grabbed that and then the last one i bought you know, I've learned something from this experience that maybe I should read the description, the scriptures before you go and purchase things. It's fine. This would just be a later project. But look at that pillow. It's a present with the black cat and all that. It's beautiful. Um, but this is a lot of beading. I mean, whatever. The cat is beaded. There's some garland that's beaded. There's some, it's just all pretty. It's pretty and it's beaded. So I'll learn to do that at some point. I mean, that will definitely be later this year. But these are all small, little small things that I feel like I can finish pretty quickly. Opposed to my six chart. Ooh, I'm not supposed to show you that. My six chart cat, which I'm loving. Don't get me wrong. Um, okay, so Easter. Back to the Easter chart. Not loving past. I'm just not like a lover of the pastels. So I ran into um, Joanne, like you do, and I picked up some cream, cream off-white oatmeal, colored Ada. It's a pretty decent size. And quite frankly, I bet you I could get most of these projects done on this one piece of Ada cloth. Um, except for the plan I have for this is to do one bunny, an egg, and another bunny and make like a longish pillow. And I mean like a little tabletop pillow out of these. So I was like, I don't love these, the pastels. And I looked at all the colors that it calls for because it's all DMC and I just, I wasn't feeling it. So I just picked up a bunch of colors. Ooh, they're coming across way brighter than they are. Like this orange is burnt orange. It's coming off real bright. These are not that bright. These are very muted colors. Um, like this green here is more of an olive green. This you know, is more of a chai. The only bright one is this turquoise because I thought I needed a little color brightness, but look at this purples and this, like I am a jewel tone girl all the way. So I bought a bunch of floss. I don't know why this one is long. I don't know. I, I bought a bunch of floss in more muted colors that I'll use for a lot of these little projects. And I want to get, I've actually got the greens in this to make a carrot. I wanted to cross stitch a carrot. Now these tags I made, this is just cardstock that I had upstairs and I have a uh, paper punch that does gift tags. I use that and then I hole punch the top and the bottom with just a 
paper hole punch and wrote the DMC number on it. And then I opened up, all, oh, that is so bright on here. This is not that color bright. Um, and then I just put it to the, the length I like too that I figured that I am enjoying right now. And then I put it all out so when I'm ready, I can just grab and go. I'm not doing anything with this right now. Um, I just wanted to get a kit together. I think that'll be good for like, just when I need a break from this lar ooh, from this larger project, which I know is not giant by any stretch of the imagination. It was just a little much for my first project. I don't know. So anyway, that is what I'm doing. Oh, and my coworker brought me, I don't even know what this is, and maybe you're smart folks, you'll know. Eh, sorry, I'm reaching. Her brother, I guess, she said in San Francisco, owned a um, embroidery needle local shop of some sort and of like needleworks and yarn and threads and things. I think it's a lo local, like a cross stitch store. Anyway. He um, had these designs, let me show you, and she had a bunch of these that he had given her and she said she wasn't going to do it and they're all kitted up. So I have the floss, even some of them have needles attached, but it's a thicker canvas and the design is painted on and then you just do your different stitches. There's different stitches, but there's no directions for each of these. I think you just... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe one of y'all know what this is. It's real hardy and it's a pretty open weave. Look, hi. But look at that house. Is that not sweet for the Christmas season? So she brought me a whole bunch of these. And like I said, they're all kitted up. They all have the floss that goes with them, the needle. There's some how to do stitch directions in here, but it's not how to do this specific pattern it's just basic stitch, different embroidery type stitches I, I don't honestly know what this is but it'll get done at some point I mean there's a fair amount of them too I got a couple Christmas scenes um, a couple like Aztec stars uh, mice at Christmas another little mouse and they're just little bitties another star um, sun motif and then a couple flowers. This one's a pretty big one. And then this flower. So if you know what this is called, help a sister out because I have no idea what that is called. But it was very kind of my coworker to bring those to me and I will try to see what I can do. But for now, I have my next project ready that I'm not one to have a hundred things going at one time. I never will. Um, you know, for my knitting, I have a sweater on the needles. I have a pair of socks on the needles and a pair of mittens. And that's it. Two purse, I two purse like grab and go projects, which I need to finish one because typically I do a big one and a little. And then I have a scrap blanket that I work on like all the time. It's just, you know, scrap. So maybe what I'll do if there's some interest is I can do a knitting, stitching once a month update and show you what I'm working on. I don't know. You let me know. All right. Well, I just blabbed on for 15 minutes. I will talk to you guys later and I hope you have a great week. Bye. There's Wellington. He's sleeping in his little basket. That's his little body. And here's Alex. <laughs> hi, buddy. Here's, you say hi. Can you say hi to our friends? They like you. Yeah, they like you. <laughs> and here comes Dub. Oh, hi, buddies. All right. Oh, hi, buddy. You want to say hi, too? <laughs> no, you to be nice. All right, guys, you have a good one, and I will talk to you later.